box box cutters you already know what's in here because it's in the title uh, but I haven't seen it yet so I am going to open it and see what we've got um, I ordered this you can see it came from Greece I ordered this uh, back in December right before the end of the year and um, it took a minute to get here but that's okay uh, things are kind of messed up all over the place as far as co with COVID and everything so uh, I totally give grace to someone who's shipping something from very far away I've never been to Greece um, and I actually was asked by one of my composers that I work for if I played Greek bouzouki uh, early last year and I said no but I'd be happy to get one and I went or maybe this was this was two years ago and I got a, I got an Irish bouzouki <laughs> not because I didn't know it wasn't a Greek bouzouki but because I, I thought oh cool but bouzoukis I started looking into bouzoukis and I didn't know much about them and I go oh Irish bouzoukis cool I can use it as a bass mandolin which I've kind of done um, sometimes I get composers writing things that are too uh, too low for the mandolin so having an Irish bouzouki is a great sub this is a Greek bouzouki and let's see what it looks like here I'll try to get this out as gracefully as possible okay lots of bubble wrap came a long distance so hopefully it's okay I just opened it upside down and have the top mark um, it looks great though what I can see of it so far and he did include a strap I believe maybe it's in there I'll set this aside okay all right and uh, a little bit more it smells like glue <laughs> <laughs> Reminders of junior high making air, air, airplane models. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, now, I, I like to get a lot of different instruments from all over the world because I do a lot of movie and game and TV show soundtrack stuff, and it really does help with um, getting more work and having another instrument you can play. Um, okay, this looks good. I'm not seeing a strap, but maybe. Awesome, I got the tuner out. Okay, the bridge flipped down. Okay, so he, that's probably intentional. So I'm probably gonna have to uh, adjust and mark the bridge. Uh, but it basically came with a bridge. So um, what I will do is, I know that um, uh, the harmonic at the 12th fret will be the same as the note at the 12th fret if the bridge is in the right position. So I will move the bridge um, as I uh, go through the strings. I'll probably start out with the lowest string and the highest string and tune those first, um, get them in the grooves, and then um, try to uh, adjust the bridge. Because once I have all the strings tightened up, I, the bridge won't move very easily, and that's a good thing. Um, I might even mark it. Um, my uh, guitar tech marked my mandolin. What he did was he put a little white um, dot from, like a uh, white out dot right on the corner there and another one on the opposite corner so that if the, if the bridge ever moved, I could recenter it no problem. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tune this up. I'm probably gonna order a set of new strings because generally when you get an instrument like this uh, from overseas, the strings aren't very, uh, very good quality. Um, and so I will probably order an, a new set of strings for this and put those on as soon as I get them. Uh, but it looks pretty good. It's, it's nice. It's got multiple back. I think this is black walnut or walnut of some kind. Uh, can't tell what it sounds like yet. Looks like the action is really low. I don't think there's a truss rod. So it uh, doesn't look like, I don't think so. So I'm assuming that the neck tension or the string tension will will bend the neck because it looks a little bowed here. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it'll it'll provide some relief. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to tune it up right now.
Okay, I can tell I'm gonna definitely need to take some lessons and watch some Greek bazooki players. <laughs> For any of you Greek bazooki players out there, I apologize. Uh, but I'm just learning and um, I'm gonna order, like I said, I'm gonna order some new strings for it. Um, and it, it's tuned basically like the top four strings of a guitar down a whole step. So it really won't be a problem to, to learn scales or uh, be able to play blues licks or whatever on it. Um, but so this A shape here is actually a G. So everything's tuned down a whole step. So instead of um, D, G, B, A, E, we have um, C, C, F, A, and D on top. Okay. Um, so it's basically, if I capo to at the second fret, I would basically be the same as the top four strings of a guitar. Um, the intonation. pretty good. Um, the strings will take a second to get in tune. I just tuned them up. And um, I basically, um, yeah, it's, it doesn't seem to be... It's a little buzzy, but you know what? Um, a lot of the Greek music I've heard has been pretty buzzy. So that might be kind of like a flamenco guitar where the action's a little lower and it creates a little bit of a buzzy effect. And the way it's strung up is, is octaves on the bottom two strings, if it's in tune. So the bottom two strings are octaves, octave C's and octave F's, and then unison A's and D's. So I'll probably do another video. Once I start getting this down, I'm going to be watching a lot of YouTube videos. I need to know how to just hold the thing because it's just like, I'm like, okay, do I hold it like this? He did not, he said he was going to include a strap, but I'm not seeing it anywhere, um, which is a bummer because I think a strap would have come in really handy. Um, but uh, I wouldn't know how to attach it because there's not any strap pins on it. Uh, but I could probably put some on or have my guitar tech go. And this is not an expensive one. I think it was about $400, which is a lot, but not bad. And it's so I imagine this is a very much an entry level. I'm hoping this is not a wall hanger version. Um, I'm hoping that this is better than that. But if, so far I can tell, and it has the vibe. I think I can I can get what I need out of this for any sessions I might do. So um, anyway, so there it is, an unboxing of a a Greek bazooki. Take care. God bless you. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe hit the bell um, if you want. I'm right now. I'm still doing live streams every week, so uh, that will continue for the foreseeable future. Um, I'm really enjoying the community we've built there. And I'm hoping to uh, uh, do more videos in 2021 than I did in 2020. I've almost done about half as many as I've done, did all last year I've already done in January. So I'm on, I'm on track to do a lot of videos this year, okay? Take care, thank you.